Hi Taurus, <clears throat> this is your reading for the remainder of June. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on with you guys for the remainder of the month. Mm, Knight of Pentacles, that's you. Planning, planning for your future, but something is like uh, tugging at you, I feel, from the past. Hmm. What's challenging Taurus for the remainder of the month? Let's see, this card is like standing out. Six of Wands, that Leo energy there with the Six of Wands, wanting to be noticed, wanting to be um, accepted. Some of you guys, I feel like, are wanting to start dating, but there's something that is lingering from your past. Um, I feel the need to like plan out things before I just jump out there is what I'm hearing from some of you. Like, What is it that I really want? What do I really feel like is going to bring me success? What's going to make me feel good? <clears throat> hmm. What is the underlying issue here or the foundation for Taurus's reading? Knight of Cups. There's somebody that you care about that's in this reading with you. Um, I'm definitely getting that you guys are not leery of someone, but you wonder if their feelings are genuine or if they're just fickle. There's a water energy here. This person definitely has feelings for you they care for you I feel like this person loves you but I don't think that this person is where you feel like they need to be or this person is not they're not stepping up to the plate in the way for you need them in the way that you need them to What's going on in the recent past for Taurus? Two of Wands. You had to decide what it was that you were going to do. And you're still needing to decide what it is that you're going to do. I see there is definitely something from the past that's got your attention or, you know, that you're trying to figure out. But there's also like, do I go back there or do I go forward? Do I move on with someone or are they serious? You know, there's 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 like something between a past person and moving on with someone else going on here. Aries energies here. Crowning thoughts for... Taurus, all right. Oh, four of wands, a relationship, being happy, being stable. Four of wands is thinking about bringing two people together or even a family together. Thinking about marriage even for some of you. Some of you wonder if something is the real thing. Is this the real deal? There's a lot of fire here for you guys. Aries Scorpio energy, I feel, for a lot of you. Are they the real deal? <clears throat> Are they willing to do the work? What's coming in for Taurus? What is that? Page of Swords. Still kind of observing, not saying too much, not letting a cat out of the bag, and not sharing anything here. I definitely feel like there's some Gemini energy here, Piscean energy. Um, the Page of Swords does not speak a lot. They mostly do a lot of of observing um, about like the Knight of Pentacles. You know, they don't move for real. Knight of Pentacles does move just very slowly. They take baby steps. They don't rush into anything. But the Page of Swords is even slower than that. Okay? Have a lot of ideas going on. A lot of things are tossing around in their head. Uh, trying to figure out, like, is it best to 
talk to you, communicate to you, make a move towards you. That's what the Page of Swords does. They basically sit in the background and just observe shit. Okay. And um, yeah, that is that Gemini Libra Aquarius energy there. How does Taurus feel about your situation? Ace of Swords there. You feel like you got it all figured out. But there's something here that's telling me that you don't. Um, there's still some iffiness, if I can say that. You're not that sure. I think you're sure of how you feel uh, for someone or people. But I don't think that, you know, there's a plan in place or there's not a, a strict intention in place towards one particular person at this point like what you're really going to do i don't see that here now in july you know all of this may play out and you're like okay i'm going for this person <clears throat> what is the influence here for taurus the nine of swords being all in your head they there are things that you're not seeing clearly with the nine of swords energy and of course the nine of swords a lot of times is over exaggerated things are not as they seem uh, there may be some truth to it but it's not totally the way that you are seeing things okay so and i definitely see that i do feel like you're trying to figure your way out of this this mess this maze that you find yourself in and i think you will too i just don't think you you know you're there yet though i see you working it out hopes or fears for taurus Hopes or fears for Taurus. Ace of Cups. That this is love. This is the beginning of something real. Something that, you know, that's going to make you really, really happy. You're hoping this is it. You're hoping that that person is here. And that they love you the way you love them. And that you guys can grow together and have a truly committed, loving relationship. Hmm. Overall outcome here for Taurus. There's two cards here. I'm going to put that down for a second. Let's see what this first one is. I see death here. Scorpio energy. So, if this is a past relationship that you are wanting to like you know revive then i feel like that's what's happening here kind of letting those old ideas about whatever happened between you and someone else just kind of fall to the wayside there's definitely something ending here, some transformation going on um, towards the end of the month on into July. Putting something to bed that that should have been put to bed a long time ago. I see that. And then we have the Six of Pentacles here. I feel like there is a change ensuing for you. Um, if you felt like whatever situation that brought you some heartache before was a result of somebody not reciprocating or giving you what you need i feel like that's done your relationship is changing to become one where you are exchanging equal energy time and resources i feel so regardless if this is a past relationship or a new relationship, I feel more so a past relationship that's, that's being brought back to life and things are going to be different this, this time around for you guys, I feel. Okay. So again, we have Aries, Scorpio type energy. Um, uh, I see Taurus 
Gemini, could be another Taurus like you as well, that is here. Leo energy is here, but I feel like more so Aries and Scorpio energy is present for you, Gemini, and maybe another Taurus like yourself. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.